Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? In this video, you will find out about the upcoming i9 11900K and i7 11700K Intel 11th generation desktop processors that are called Rocket Lake. I will talk about the specs, performance, release date and pricing. But first, a quick message from today's video sponsor. Toolrocket released a free PDF converter that will help you convert files from PDF to Word, Excel, PNG, JPEG and vice versa. Also, you can do a ton of other things with your PDF files. Split, cut, merge, compress, lock with a password, extract images, rotate, add or remove watermarks and many more. Try it now for free on Windows, Android and iPhone or iPad at the link in the description below. Let's begin with the release date. Intel has not lifted the embargo on reviews and sales yet. However, one of the largest German retailers somehow managed to sell over 120 Intel i7-11700K CPUs. This processor was not even officially revealed yet. So, Intel was forced to step in and give an official statement via hardware locks. Thanks to that, now we know the official launch dates. Intel will unveil 11th gen CPUs on March 16th at 11 am Eastern Time or 4 pm GMT plus zero for my fellow Europeans. Advertisement and pre-orders will begin at the same time. However, proper product reviews, benchmarks and sales will remain under embargo until March 30th 9 am Eastern Time or 2 pm GMT plus zero in Europe. So, what this means is that Intel will feed us their marketing materials, which will most likely be full of crap. And they will take our money for two weeks before we can see the real reviews and benchmarks from independent media. But thanks to that little oopsie with selling i7-11700K in Germany, users are starting to get their hands on those CPUs and sharing benchmarks with the community. I will show you several of those later in this video. When it comes to prices, unfortunately we don't know the official MSRP yet. But I can tell you that i7-11700K was selling for 469 euros from that German retailer I talked about earlier. It is too early to say, but I think that Intel will keep the prices similar to their 10th generation counterparts. Now let's talk about the specs. All Intel 11th Gen Rocket Lake processors are manufactured on a 14 nanometer node. i9-11900K features 8 cores and 16 threads with 16 megabytes of L3 cache and supports DDR4-3200. The base core clock is 3.5 GHz, all core boost is 4.8 GHz and one core boost is 5.3 GHz. TDP is 125 watts. i7-11700K is very similar. It also has 8 cores and 16 threads with 16 MB of L3 cache and DDR4-3200 MHz support. However, core clocks are a bit different. The base core clock is 3.6 GHz, all core boost 4.6 GHz and one core boost is 5 GHz. TDP is also 125 watts. It is time to reveal some of the performance benchmarks. We will compare 11700K and 11900K with the Ryzen 7 5800X, which is also an 8-core 16-thread processor. In Passmark, Ryzen 7 5800X comes out on top. It scores about 600 points higher than 11900K, which is not a huge difference. However, I would like to remind you that 5800X released back in November 2020. So, releasing an inferior product several months later does not look good for Intel. Where 11900K manages to pull ahead is in Passmark single core performance. Here, 5800X is on par with 11700K. In Cinebench, 11900K comes out on top in both single core and multi core tests closely followed by 11700K and Ryzen 7 5800X. I also included 10900K results. 
As you can see, 11900K is a step back when using any app that can use all 10 cores on 10900K. Unfortunately, we do not have access to gaming benchmarks for the retail versions of 11900K or 11700K yet. But, late engineering sample of 11700K and a qualification sample of 11900K have been tested in gaming. FPS results should be very close to what we will see in the final product. It is time for the conclusion. I think that i9-11900K does not have the right to be called the i9 because it is a step back compared to its 10-core, 20-thread predecessor i9-10900K. i7-11700K has a chance to be a decent CPU if the price is right. I would definitely pick 11700K over 11900K because they are basically the same CPU. It remains to be seen how the 11th gen will compete with AMD's Ryzen 5000 series. During the current chip shortages Intel can win big. They are able to produce a lot of 14 nanometer chips, which in theory should keep the 11th gen prices close to the MSRP during the times when Ryzen 5000 CPUs are suffering from inflated prices due to stock shortages. But that is my opinion. I am interested to hear what do you think. Comment below, like the video and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.